Our global population by the year 2040 will be 10 billion people. If we continue to consume protein at the levels we consume it today, by the year 2040, we'll have to produce about 35 to 40% more protein. So we're having to look at other alternative ways of getting to the levels of protein that we need. And it's not just protein as a protein. There are certain amino acids that we require as humans for our thriving well-being. Cultured meat is only one answer to the, to the equation, so to speak. So the way we make cultured meat today is we take a biopsy from a live animal or from an embryo. We then take those cells out, chop them up into little pieces, and put them into a medium that's full of nutrients, be it protein, carbohydrates, fats, growth factors, and hormones. We then allow those cells to divide and differentiate themselves, and eventually we get a mass of cells that resembles something like a piece of hamburger. Now, a lot of people feel that cultured meat is gonna give them something that looks like the steak or the chop that they're used to today. Today's technology is not there yet. One of the ways we're trying to get more of a three-dimensional piece of meat, if you will, is by growing those cells on what we call a cell scaffold. The challenge for the cultured meat industry today is that cell scaffolds will have to be edible. Most of the cell scaffolds that have been used by stem cell researchers for years are not edible products. So we're looking at things like tendons and ligaments, plant cell parts, even bone pieces to be able to grow those cells on and, and, and get them to differentiate themselves to actually resemble a piece of meat that's a little bit more familiar to us. The next big challenge for us is going from a small plastic dish where we're growing the cells into a big bioreactor. Cells have not been done traditionally by that method yet. So we have a lot of, lot of work in the scale up to go forward with, to be able to produce by mass production. And then the sheer massive amounts of meat that we grow globally today, somehow even to get a small portion of that is gonna be a phenomenal amount of, of growth in a bioreactor.